doing an HID installation on an Audi A3 2006. We're installing a Philips HID kit, H11, and this will be the procedure in the installation of this. The first step is to remove the plastic cover over the headlight uh, backing. Next, you have to remove the bulb. Just reach in there, grab, twist, pull out, and that's the H11 bulb that's pre-installed on the vehicle from factory. Um, so now you're going to have to undo this by pressing, pulling on this button here, and the bulb will come right out. Now we're going to prepare the bulb for installation. We're going to remove the foam cover over the bulb, making sure you don't touch the glass. Uh, you're going to remove the plastic base. After removing the plastic casing, uh, this bulb is ready to be installed. Simply go in carefully in the headlight assembly. Uh, Find where the opening is, stick it in there, and twist. Uh, it might be a little tricky at first, but uh, give it a couple minutes and be careful again not to smash the glass. Um, you should be able to get in there pretty easily, twist, and the bulb will be installed in the headlight assembly. This vehicle came with a plastic cover which would require to be drilled to be able to get the wires out for the bulb that go to the ballast. Now each kit is supplied with a rubber garment which will seal it just like I did from the beginning. So again, there will be no problems from moisture or water getting in. We are now going to drill the plastic cover with a 10 millimeter uh, drive. Now we have a hole through the cap. We're gonna go ahead and run the wires uh, that are necessary to be able to meet up with the ballast. This is a properly installed garment on a cap. As you can see, it makes a nice tight seal, just like the original. This connection will go to the ballast. This connection will go to the factory car's connector. You just go ahead and insert this in there. Bulb will be inserted into the headlight assembly and twisted. Now that we got the wire through, we're gonna make the connection with the factory connector of the vehicle, which was originally hooked up to the H11 bulb. As you can see, the yellow is going to be positive and the uh, brown is going to be ground. So you just go ahead and make that connection. Now we're going to go ahead and seal this connection with electrical tape just to make sure that this thing stays on and that there's no water that's going to corrode the electrical um, connections. Now we're going to hook up the ballast to the bulb using these connectors supplied. It's a very simple process. This wire runs to the ballast and gives the output to the bulb. And this water wire, which we already hooked up, is connected to the fact. We're going to go ahead and attempt to mount the ballast on the vehicle. The ballast comes with a built-in bracket, which you can use to secure onto any surface in the existing bulb. Use twist ties or even Velcro on the back. Uh, on this vehicle, we have a convenient bolt here, which we already undone. We're going to go ahead and put it right here on this bolt. Pulls it back up. we will now have a permanent location for our ballast. There it goes. As you can see, this is the HID 6000K, and this is a factory halogen bulb. A huge difference among the light output on this.